Hi guys, here's our FreeMind Art 2013 tool. So we have separate instructions for how to download this stuff. So assuming you already got the two parts, the FreeMind software and the Art 2013 database available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, and you've launched it, so here we are, what have we got? Well, as you see, if we wanna be really reductive about it, we could break all of art, all you know, 40,000 years of human history down into four words, ancient, middle, renaissance, modern. And then this tool, we're just gonna be able to click and sort of open these trees. So if we go for modern, for example, we've got 19th, 20th, 21st century, and, and a little beyond. So if we look at the 20th century, I've got a few different categories like um, post-war after 1945, and then all kinds of things, right? Abstract expressionism, combine paintings, wonder cabinets, happenings, fluxus, all these sorts of uh, things. Um, if we go down to the Renaissance, we'll see the Renaissance and the Baroque, stuff going on there. Uh, Middle Ages, a little bit about Gothic, a little bit about Romanesque. Um, in ancient times, um, Greece, Rome, and all those places that you're familiar with. Also prehistory. So history, what is that? History begins five, 6,000 years ago with the invention of writing. But, you know, as we've learned, that wasn't the, the, the beginning of the earth. Uh, there's people in culture before that. And we'll talk about some of that, at least briefly. Um, uh, what went on in Paleolithic times, pretty interesting stuff. And then we also, in addition to that, We've got this little Excel down here, which has a few topics that we, well, a few things and then some topics. Uh, topics that we probably won't actually have a chance to get into most of these. But the one that I have here for you, Artist of the Week, is uh, our 12 Artists of the Week. So this is a way to um, get over to their place on... Um, uh, on this chart. You could find them just by opening windows, but this is kind of a little bit um, quicker way to get there. So if you click on like Nikki S. Lee, for example, it opens up, it takes us over here. We clicked on Nikki S. Lee and then it opened up modern 20th century postmodern identity and it takes us to her work. And, um, you know, then we can, you can see some of her work. So that's basically how to poke around with this tool. And I should mention that um, this is a sort of a textbook, but it's different. So like a, te like a paper textbook, you can write on this textbook, but unlike a paper textbook, or I guess sort of like a paper textbook, you can tear out pages and throw them away and you can sew in new pages if you want. So we were just looking at uh, Nikki S. Lee. So for example, um, for any of these nodes here, if you, if you right click, you'll see some choices, like you can edit the node, but then there's also new child, new sibling. So a child is a node below and a sibling is a note parallel to. So for example, I've got some of their images and some notes, but if you wanted to write your own note on something about this picture, you could say, um, maybe you wanna make it a, a, child, a sibling node, let's say, and you wanna put it underneath and you can say, an Hispanic project, um, or you could add a child node and and you could even, so if, if you found more Nikki Esley images that I didn't have in this chart that you wanted to have in your copy, you could add another node, another say child mode perhaps, um, but then instead of just typing in it, you could insert an image. And then you could go find something like, let's, I don't know, here's a candle. This, is, this wouldn't be the right image, but let's just say it was one that you found. And now I've inserted this image. So you've completely customized this to be whatever you wanted it to be. And if you change your mind about that, you could uh, delete that node and then it would be back the way it was. So that's a, just a quick, we'll start using it right away really, but that's just a, a quick peek at how this tool works. And um, I hope you find it useful. It's a, it's a, chronology is by no means the only way to think of art. There are a lot of other ways. That's partly why I have some topic things over here, but this is at least a nice way for you to sort of maybe wrap your mind around 
you know, all of this um, art history that we have. And as you see, it's a, it's kind of a, a fun, easy way for you to open and close and see, you know, what people have been thinking about. So, and then you can close everything down to this one little tiny ancient middle Renaissance modern. Okay, so that's our free mind tool and go ahead and play with it and, and explore, enjoy. Thanks.